All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, we're switching over from soccer back over to basketball. Today, I have a junior from Manasquan, Mary Donnelly. Mary, thank you for joining me today. Wonderful. Thank you for having me. Um, i like to start off with this question, you know, year anniversary since COVID hit. How did you find that adjustment last year with schoolwork and everything from uh, being in classroom and then going uh, right to virtual learning? I mean, it was definitely weird for like for myself and for everyone, but I feel like at one point it kind of just got into like a routine and schedule. I mean, for a while there was like a lot of hope that like it would go back. So I feel like that's what kind of kept everyone going for a little bit. But once everyone realized it, <laughs> I guess, I don't know, but I thought that it went, it was fine. I mean, we're still kind of adjusting still, but it now, was, did, once you got used to it, it was fine. Did Manasquan, did you have to be on like Google Meets in, at certain times of the day or did they just give you assignments and you just had to finish them? Um, it depended on the class. Like some I had to join every day on a Zoom. Others it would depend on the day or some never really did. You just assigned work. So it depended on the class. Okay. Um, how did you handle, you know, uh, training for basketball and, you know, working on your basketball game, knowing that, you know, you really weren't supposed to be practicing with RP, everyone's supposed to be isolated. How did you handle that? Um, well, it was with me. I have everyone in my family pretty much plays basketball. So like me and my sister, we would work out together. We'd like find workouts to do, or me and my brother would play one-on-one -on -one and I'd go on runs. Like there's still ways I could like train, but still be by myself or with my family like me and my sister would shoot together or we'd do like ball handling together. Me and my brother, like I said, would play one-on-one. -on -one. Like there was ways that I could still like, like work out and everything, but it's still isolated. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, advantage, you know, your whole family, you know, playing basketball, you know, with your dad's <laughs> background and, you know, your siblings playing basketball. So, you know, you did have a little advantage there compared to people who, you know, only childs and stuff. How old yeah. were you when you started playing basketball? Um, like I, when I was younger, obviously it's something that's always, it's always been in my family because of my dad. Like we've always kind of played it. When I was in like preschool, I always remember um, Mrs. Mabry was actually like, she would come to my preschool and like teach us in like the hallways, which I remembered when I was younger, but I was still, and then like I played rec basketball growing up, but it was never really like my sport for a while. And then I quit for a little a few years because I just did not like it. <laughs> and then in fifth grade, my dad was like, hey, why don't you just like give another try? So I joined like my mid mammoth team and like my town team. And then I, from and playing since. Uh, that, that's yeah, that's interesting. Um, did you play any other sports when you were younger? Yeah, I for a while I swam for like two or three years, and I played soccer for a while. But okay. Then I basketball back Okay, so what made you you know fall back in love with basketball? Where that's your main sport? I honestly don't even know. I guess it was just once I started playing again and it was just fun and eventually I ended up liking it more than um, soccer and everything. And then I eventually, the more like I worked at it, the better I got. So then it got even more fun. And then eventually it just became what I played. <laughs> um, how old are your siblings? Um, my brother, he's a senior in high school. Mm -hmm. um, and my sister, she's my one sister, Shay, she's in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. And my other sister, Paige, is in sixth grade. <laughs> Are the four of you very competitive? Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you always have to win, or? <laughs> I mean, I prefer to win. Uh, like the other day on um, Easter, we had some two-on-two -two games going on. Me and my sixth grade sister Paige, we were a team. We we did not win a game. That was a little, a little disappointing. But you no, know, we were all very competitive and like to win and stuff like that. That's, do you try to help your younger sisters out, like if they have questions? Yeah, no, I definitely try to help them out, especially just because, it was, especially with my one sister who's going to be at Manus School next year, like I try to help her too, just coming to high school, because obviously that's a big adjustment. So I've been trying to, like, we do a lot together, we shoot together and play one on one. Stuff like that. Do you, uh, did you ever, um, does your brother go to Manus One? He goes to St. Rose. Oh, St. Rose. Okay. Um, do you have, you know, knowing, you know, your father had a great, you know, short career, great college career. Do you ever, you know, go to him for advice? Um, I mean, obviously he's a great, his knowledge, you know, probably, you know, more than almost anybody. Yeah, no, I go to him for most things like this. We, we always talk about basketball. He's just always has a lot of good perspective and oh, he's, he always gives good advice. And obviously I trust what he says because he did go through, he did play and, 
did say that. And he, had a, he did have a good career, I wish I, from what I hear and say. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I saw him play once a senior. Now, I was I was going into high school at that time, but uh, I saw him play once a senior. My dad took me to to a game. Um, and, you know, you fought, I like your father, you know, he kind of just like minds his own business at the game, sits by, sits by himself, which, you know, those are the parents I, I, I enjoy the most. Um, how else do you, does your family, you know, help you? I know AAUs, you know, a lot with the travel and stuff. How else has, you know, besides your, you know, basketball knowledge, how else has your family been there for you? Um, ever, we're all very supportive of each other. We're all each other's like biggest fans. We watch each other's games. We go to each other's games. Um, obviously, like I said, me and my siblings, we like help each other work out and everything. But and my parents, they drive me everywhere and or they have driven me everywhere and they take me everywhere. And they've always been super supportive of basketball and everything. And if there's like a workout I want to go to, like my dad will take me. Like they're they're up for like anything. They're yeah, you, you know, you kids travel all over the place to get a good workout in or, you know, wherever everyone's training that particular day or pickup game. It's it, it's impressive, you know, because back, you know, back when we were in high school, it was probably just, you know, the local park, whoever was there, that's who you were playing that day. <laughs> so, yeah. um, growing up, you know, it could be a family member or, you know, an athlete. Who's somebody that you looked up to that, like, a role model? Um, I mean, I do look up to my dad in a sense, like just for from advice and everything like and like I said I go to him for pretty much everything especially anything basketball related um but I guess like other than that like just people around I mean I loved watching the Mabrys growing up like I said we, our families have always like known each other but I loved watching them and then I once I like I knew the Masonis as well I loved watching Faith I thought Faith was just really good and even just from a sense of when I was a freshman and watching like Bryn Farrell play, like I thought I loved watching her play and she was someone I like to look up to too. So from a basketball standpoint, like those are some people I like to watch and play. <laughs> um, I, when I interviewed Bryn last year, you know, she spoke very highly of, of you and, you know, the disappointment when, you know, you decided that the transfer, you know, she was as disappointed as I was. So, so you did have a fan in Bryn, you know, and it's, you know, that you look I'm up. I'm a big fan of her, so... <laughs> Um, now AAU, now you just went, to, you're to Philly Rise now, right? Yeah. Um, but you, you've been, you've been with the Bells. Who, who, you were with, uh, Fagan, right? Fagan's Bells? Yeah, for the past years. Um, how, how, how has he helped you, you know, in, in develop your game? Um, I mean, he's one of the best coaches I've had. He's always, he's not afraid to tell you anything. He's very honest and he's definitely helped with, just simple like skill development and then even just getting like my confidence back and stuff like that. Like he's, he's one of the best coaches. Um, yeah. You know, sometimes coaches are afraid to be honest, but you know, as a player, you need to know it's not personal. They're just trying to get the best out of you and they see more in you than, you know, you could. Um, so who is your, uh, who's going to be your current coach for Philly Rise? Um, my current head coach is Doug West and, then um, Brian Creek is my assistant coach. Okay. Uh, any, uh, you have any teammates from the Shore area that on your team? Um, Maddie St. Rose is on my team. Justin okay. Passat, okay. Ali Carmen is also on my team. Those are the ones from like the Shore. That's a pretty good uh, core of Shore players, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that's great. When do uh, tournaments start? Um, we are going to one I know in two weeks. That's when like one of our first ones is I don't know about the and other weekends they were trying to figure things out just with different rules but definitely in like two weeks okay did you last COVID question did you find it you know difficult last year with AAU season like you know at first it didn't look like there was going to be an AAU season and then you know finally you know towards the end of the summer early fall <laughs> finally did you find that you know waiting period a little difficult yeah, especially because no one knew what was really going to happen. So it was almost like last minute, like I'd be going to a tournament on the weekends or yes, playing with teams. It was just kind of like up in the air. But I mean, any chance to play was a chance to play. So. Yeah, the local teams, you know, Sure Sots, you know, the Bells, they did a good job trying to put together things over the weekend just to get you girls on the court, um, which is good. You know, I went to a couple of those things and, you know, it's just good to see some live sports you know finally yeah. and you know i'm sure you you girls felt the same way finally you know instead of just shooting in your backyard you know playing against other other, other people yeah um 
going into high school, you know, and, you know, you started at St. Rose, you transferred Madison School, but what are some goals you set that you wanted to achieve for basketball through four years of your high school career? Um, I mean, I feel like for most people going into high school, everyone's goal is to win in the short, at least win short conference or get to see when the TUC. Those are definitely goals I had, and I know even some of my teammates had kind of going to high school. It's like one year, like to win it all. <laughs> Yeah, you know, especially when you're at, you know, the St. Rose Madison's RBCs, you know, it's TOC, you know, in short conference, yeah. those, those, you know, division, the division titles are good, but, you know, when you get to those type teams, they want the, you know, state titles and TOCs. Um, so you you go, you're St. Rose your freshman year. What are, you know, some goals that you had, you, you know, just your freshman year? Um, I mean, as a freshman, the goal was kind of just to get in the game, please. Especially on the team I was on, everyone was super talented. It was a really good team. So just to even like get on the court and play and just get experience from the people I was playing with. Yeah, that team, I thought that was one of the most complete teams, you know, like I've, you know, I've been around, but, you know, you know, you had outside shooting, you inside scoring defense, you know, you that team had pretty much everything. Um any, you know, you're you're a freshman. Any uh, any seniors or upperclassmen you were able to go to if you had like questions or whatnot? I mean, all the seniors and upperclassmen were super welcoming. Like I knew Maggie Stapleton for a few years because I played with Mo for a few years back when we were close with their family. So Maggie, uh, Maggie used to drive me all the time, and me and her were close. And then even Lauren, Lauren, like nicest person, you could go to her for anything. And I loved playing with her. She's just so competitive. She always just wanted to win. And Sam too. I wish to talk to Sam. Ever, all those seniors were super welcoming and you could go to pretty much any of them for anything. Yeah, I thought Sam was kind of an unsung hero just, you know, because she you know, didn't really score that much, but, you know, her defense intensity and I thought, you know, when she graduated, I thought that was going to be your role, which was one of the reasons I was disappointed when you transferred. <laughs> um, because whenever you stepped on the court, you know, you, you were, you know, a very good defender and um, right away. And, you know, there was games you would come in and, you know, it would change the flow of the game, whether it's just a steal or poking the ball ball away, you know. So, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed watching, you know, that your team as, as a freshman. Talk how it felt, um, you know, first beating St. John Vianney. You know, Lauren had that ridiculous game. Um, yeah, that was crazy. You know, <laughs> being involved with that, seeing somebody hit nine three-pointers, right? I think it was nine, right? The, it was nine, nine, yeah. yeah. Nine three-pointers in, in the game and, you know, beating St. John Vianney, who, you know, preseason, they were the team to beat. Um, so how, how, how was it, you know, beating St. John and winning that title? Because people say winning that sectional is, like, more important than the state title. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, even just getting to that game was super competitive. Yes. Like, I remember our games were super close. And, like, and then once we got to St. John Vianney, like, they they were the, in the finals of, like, the short conference that year. Like, as you said, they were, like, the team to beat. So then to beat them and, like, Lauren have that, like, insane game. And even our team, we just played really well that game. Like, that was definitely a big win. And I remember everyone was, like, so excited after. It was a good one. Now, that first playoff game was against Notre Dame Prep, right? You girls were trailing going into uh, the second yeah. half. And then all of a sudden, they just couldn't get the ball past half court all of a sudden. And yeah. you know, Lauren, Lauren turned it up. And um, that that was a fun game because uh, Dave, Dave Brown called me because it was a close game. And he was asking me to do play-by-play. -play, and I was like, I can't. <laughs> just It was too, too intense. But that, yeah, that was a fun game. And, you know, yeah. you know that kind of, you know, I think there was a big break, right, since the, you girls lost to Manchester and the Shore semis. I think I think yeah. there was a little bit of break, and that was the first game. And I, from what I heard, Mary Beth was trying to get a game scheduled in between to keep you girls fresh, but it just didn't happen. And then you just sailed on through. And then uh, how did it feel to beat uh, Immaculate Heart in the state finals? How did it beat, you know, being a state champion in your freshman year? I mean, that was, uh, everyone, again, super excited. That was, like, such a fun game. And then, too, because then we were, like, on a nice, like, winning streak to go into. TOC. Like, yeah. Um, now, TOC was fun, too, because, you know, you beat university, right, pretty pretty well, I think, right? You played university. Yeah, uh, yeah I think so, yeah. And then, and then you know, you, the short end Franklin game, but it was a really, you know, good game. You know, went down to almost the last shot. So, um, yeah. Being involved with that as a freshman, that just, you know, you think that's just going to help you, you know, especially going into your senior year and, you know, you know, there's going to be high expectations with uh, Manasquan next year. And, uh, you know, you think that helped prepares you for those type of games? 
Yeah, I mean, especially just to get like that far and be in those atmospheres was definitely as a freshman, like it was it was so cool. So that's like what you want to do when you get into high school. So definitely to bring that tradition back in a certain sense, because my so no one on my team has made it that far because of the circumstances of the past few years and everything. Yeah. Definitely this year. I'm excited. I hope <laughs> <Yeah. we get laughs> that far. <laughs> um now you know, sophomore year, you transfer to Maslin. How was it going from a private school to a public school? And you went to was, private school, right? For grammar school, right? Did you go to St. Catherine? For the, like, end of my grammar school, because I okay. used to go to, transfer into my uh, okay. school, too. So, yeah, it was so pretty easy. Yeah? yeah, I transferred to Maslin for a few reasons. One of them being, like, all my friends went there, so it was pretty yeah. easy with the transition to then just be with all my friends, so it wasn't... <laughs> hard because I always had like someone I had like a bunch of friends that went there and they were all the people I grew up with and hung out with in the summer so it was easy in that way yeah I was very vocal when you know if you leave a private school to go to your home public school you know you shouldn't have to sit out you know especially you know you grew up in that area so that you know how you know how was that you know you know it's being a competitor you are you know having to sit on the bench for 30 days until you're able to finally get in there and help Manus one um, I, it was, it was definitely hard, especially cause like you think I was like, oh, it's, it's not going to be like that bad. But then I, I like specifically remember sitting on the bench at our Rumson game when it was home the first time. And we, oh, that we was lost. a close game. Yeah. It was a really close game. And I just remember sitting on the bench and I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it, I couldn't like complain that bad because there's nothing I could do. So, I mean, I tried to make the most of the situation and hope it went back fast. <laughs> That was the game where Rumson got into a big lead in the first, and then it was back and forth yeah. basically in the second second half, and you know they just you know pulled it out at the at the end. Um, were you able to play them the second time when uh, basically it was the reverse? You guys, you, you girls, one by yeah. one. Okay, so at least you and then you got uh, you know beating them in the sectional finals had to be uh, uh, plus you know because you know they were the one seed and uh, you know everyone. I didn't feel this way, but everyone's like, oh, mask ones rebuilding. But, you know, I thought you girls were, you know, good enough to compete with the top teams. So how did it feel, you know, winning that sectional and keeping the tradition going at Madison one? Yeah, no, that was so exciting, especially for us, some of us as sophomores. And, like, Brooke, Brooke had a really, really good game that game. And just even – that was just – it was such a fun atmosphere and such a fun game. And then to beat them, because Madison and Rumpson are rivals. I mean, we always have good games, even if you look at this year's game. Yeah. So definitely. And for that title was it was definitely like exciting and we yeah, all had a enjoyable game. I don't know who took the photograph, but with Brooke with her hand up, on, <laughs> that, that's one of the best photographs. That one and, uh, you know, your freshman year with Faith driving to the hoop against St. Rose. Like, wait, she yeah. kind of looks like she's carrying a football, you know. The, I don't I know those photographs, those pho photographers, they get, I don't know how they get those shots, but the, those are two classic shots, both from Manus one. Um, moving to this past season, did you think the season was going to happen with COVID and everything? I, I personally, like, it obviously did happen, but I was, I thought they should have had something, like, even yeah. going in, because I feel like things were kind of getting better, and there was ways, because, like, we had AU tournaments, like, I feel like there were yeah. ways you could effectively do it and still be safe, so I was really hoping, so when we had one, I was, like, super excited, even if it was just, like, slight restrictions. Like, anything, I yeah, I thought, you know... They did a good job, you know, and I understand the school boards, they're in a tough spot because they can't take a chance of them being the school that has an outbreak and, you know, then all the tensions on them. But I thought they did a good job and, then, you know, they did a good job getting the parents in finally, you know, midway through the season. So, um, you know, it was good to get some normalcy. And then, you know, next year, hopefully everything's back. You know, it's it looks like the spring yeah. seasons are going to be full season. So that's, you know, that's good. And, you know, hopefully it could continue and everything gets better out there. Um. I like asking this uh, question to juniors. Um, what was something you wanted to improve from your sophomore year? Because I see big jumps from sophomore year to junior year. Um, I mean, one thing I individually like was trying to work on, especially thought that was my like jump shot, and that was something I was working on a lot over. Not that because not that I never, like, not I just never really shot that much in games. I was always kind of more like a driver. So something, especially now that I had to work on it, it was something I wanted to work more on things like that. And, Different, like different pull-ups and like different shots. Like that was something just to add to my game. I wanted to like improve on. 
you could definitely, you know, tell that you know, it's, it's something you did very well this past season. And, you know, I, I don't know what you finished with, with total points, but, you know, you know, you, you, you could score basically at le any level, you drive to the hoop, you know, pull up jumper and knock down the three when you need to. So, um, you know, it's a good job you recognizing that you want other ways to score and, you know, you worked, you could see how hard you worked on it. Um, how did it feel being named to the APP all, you know, first team all sure? I was not expecting it at all. Like when, cause my, my dad was the one who told me, like when I woke up that morning, I was not <laughs> expecting it at all, like remotely. So I was super excited and like shocked. So it was definitely a surprise. And, um, you know, me and, me and Doug, um, we did the postseason. We both put you on our all sure first team too, um, you know, you just, you know, you, you, you had a great season and, uh, you know, you. It's, good, it's good that, you know, other, you know, everyone's recognizing the, the type of season that you had for Madison one. One game Thank I want to talk about this past season, you know, St. John Vianney, I know you, you, you girls lost, but it seems like out of all the short teams, your team gave them the, you know, well, even, you know, some of the out of, out of short teams, your team gave them, you know, the toughest game. Um, can you just talk a little bit about that game? Because, you know, I wasn't at the game. I didn't, I didn't even get to stream that game. So you just talk a little bit about that game. Um, I, I mean, I feel like it's, with us, we match up really well against – or their team this year, we matched up really well against St. John Vanny. Like, we had people that kind of matched up well, and we play very similarly. So I feel like that was one thing mm -hmm. that kind of helped the game. Like, they like to press, and that was something, like, we started to, like, press. So I feel like the games, they, they we match each other very well. Mm -hmm. I mean, going to the game without Brooke that game, that was definitely going to be hard, and we all knew it. And that was definitely something we were, we all knew we would have to adjust from because she's obviously – she's our – like leading scorer and she does everything. She's a very big part of our offense and she can guard most, she can guard anyone too. So without her, we knew that was going to be a bit of an adjustment, but going into it, I mean, our team really wanted to win. Like we were a very competitive group and obviously St. John Manny is the team to beat. So <laughs> we felt like we could have done it. Like we could be the team to do it when going into the game. So I feel like we just, we came in with like high intensity. We really wanted to win. We, came like super competitive and we wanted to like take it to them obviously they came back and <laughs> into the game but they're a talented team number one team in the state so I feel like hanging with them was good and next year it'll be a good matchup too. yeah um you know you brought Brooke up talk your relationship with your you know your classmates you know you know you uh, Georgia Dorothy Brooke you know it's a very talented you know group of seniors next year that, that's going to be there so what's your relationship with the four uh the four of you I should say we're we're all super close and even off the court like we're friends and everything me me and Dorothy have played basketball in Brooke we've all played since fifth grade together so we've always had that like relationship we've known each other for years so we kind of know how to play with each other like we can like talk to each other on the court and don't seem to, like get mad or anything like we're, we have all a very good relationship and like Georgia I've known for years there's pictures of us like playing each other in like seventh grade and, like, <laughs> for, like the tip and like the jump ball in like middle school against each other and like on all tournament teams together so like me and Georgia and Dorothy, like, we've all known each other for like years. And then as we kind of progress, we all like respect each other. We're all friends on and off the court and everything. So it's definitely, we're, we have a very good relationship and we're all good friends. Yeah. And I think all four of you, you know, complement each other well on, on the court. Yeah. You each bring something different that, you know, has to be great for Lisa, you know, when she's put together, you know, because say somebody's having an off day, somebody else could just step up, you know, and you yeah. know, take, take on that load, which is, you know, not a lot of teams have that. Um, talking next year, your senior year, what are what are your your goals you have for your final season? Obviously, it's probably going to be a TOC appearance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say TOC and short conference, like those are that's what I think our team's goal. It's what our goals been yeah. for forever. So the last two years, they haven't been able to happen. Like we haven't been able to, or, or at least last year, because we would have made it our sophomore year anyway, because we lost to Manchester last game. But even just like this year, to not have it and. I don't, but that's definitely next year. It's definitely our goal. So that's what we're all looking to do. <laughs> now, you played Manchester during the season. Uh, how did it feel? You know, you, you girls beat them. You know, you beat them pretty pretty good the first the first game. Um, getting back a little bit of revenge from, you know, I know it's not a state state sectional semifinal, but did it feel good getting a little bit of <laughs> revenge on that game? <laughs> yeah, no, they're definitely, like, again, that's another team we have. Oh, I guess a little rivalry, rivalry for because of our past and everything. But even we know they were a good team. I'm with obviously Destiny, who's an amazing player. She's like insane. So we knew that she was going to be hard to guard. And even their freshman, um, Devin 
quickly. She was really good to so we knew they'd be a tough matchup. You got you had a lot of people come commented to me how well you did, you know, defending, you know, Destiny. And, you know, because Destiny is not easy to cover because she is very physical <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. So, so you 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 had a great, great game uh, that game. And, you know, everybody knows the talent, you know, Destiny. Um, and, yeah. you know, it, it definitely won't be the same next year if you two end up, uh, two teams end up meeting in the, in the yeah. session. <laughs> Um, so back back to my last question that is you being a senior next year, what is something you hope to pass down to the underclassmen? Um, I mean, just like that, as coach, our coach always talks about, like how Madison has like a winning and championship kind of like tradition. So I guess to mm-hmm. continue to pass that on, because especially our seniors this year, they were the team that had been like to the TOC and everything and had won it all before. So that was kind of something coach always said like to pass on. And I'm hoping that like that's something that we can pass on to everyone else too, especially because the, the under – the, everyone on the team is gonna, they're going to be good like coming in even like freshmen like my sister's coming in and I know Georgia's sister there's a few other freshmen coming in and then we still have Hope, McKenna, Katie and then Rylands they're all gonna it does still be a very talented team it's supposed yeah. to pass on the tradition. It's amazing you know sm- the small towns over there produce so many good <laughs> basketball players <laughs> that, you know, yeah. that as well. um you up for some rapid fire questions before we talk about your future? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> What's your favorite TV show? Um, maybe like Friends. Friends? Oh, wow. Um, how about favorite movie? Um, probably either any of the high school musical movies or The Greatest Showman. Any one where like Zac Efron sings, you know, musical. Love those. <laughs> um, what's your favorite school subject? Um, probably like science and things science. like that. Um, yeah, I did not like science in high school. <laughs> um, how about your favorite color? Uh, either blue or orange. Uh, favorite number? 15. 15, yeah. Okay. Um, last one of these. What is something you enjoy doing when you're not playing basketball? Um, I like to, I play guitar, so I like to, I'm not oh. that good fun but I like to play guitar um sometimes I'll go play tennis and things like that tennis was my sport in high school um but that that's that's fascinating guitar what made you get into the guitar I played when I was in like fifth grade just because I wanted to like learn how to play and then I quit for a while and then like over quarantine I was kind of like yeah, I kind of want to start playing again so then I started to like reteach myself but, there, so there were some positives that came out of quarantine with everybody everybody found like yeah things that they enjoy doing that they, you know, didn't usually do. Uh, all right, we're going to start wrapping up. What, you know, you, you're going to be senior, obviously colleges are calling and you're looking at schools. What are some things you're looking at, you know, when you're looking at colleges? Um, I mean, I'm looking to kind of get out of New Jersey. That's like one of the main things. Just go far. I don't see myself going super, super far, but definitely I'm just out of New Jersey. Um, I just want like a good school, good basketball program as any as most people would say, but that's kind of it. <laughs> the size of the school matter, or you don't really? Um, well, I'm still trying to figure out as I like look at schools. Probably I don't necessarily know yet because I haven't really been able to go look at yeah. a lot of schools yet. So this definitely spring and summer as I go and look at more, I'll probably figure out what I like more. But it's just been hard to go look at schools. Do you know what you want your major to be? Um, either like like pre med or like bio or something in that like medical. Like, Sure. Um, so you, what do you mean you want to be a doctor you something in that field i don't necessarily know but something in the medical and health field you, you kids you kids in pre- every interview you know you kids you know play basketball 24 7 you all have good grades and you all want to be doctors and lawyers and stuff that <laughs> we, i never dreamed of wanting to be when i was in high school um that that's that's impressive um Last question, you know, uh, I'd like to ask, what advice would you give, like, your younger self if you could talk to your younger self today? Um, I guess just kind of, like, everything will end up working out because, obviously, everything changes, but I feel like everything ends up working out how it's supposed to be. Okay. Uh, Mary, thank you for joining me, taking time out today, and, you know, I wish you luck this AAU season, and I can't wait to see, uh, you know, Madison going back on the court next season. Yeah, thank you, and thank you for having me. No problem. Thanks.